The first step in taking this patient history is to understand what was usual before the illness. What was the usual frequency of bowel movements? What was the usual consistency of bowel motions? In the past, what was their fluid and dietary intake like? And previously, what was their past laxative use? Then since their illness, has the frequency of bowel movements changed? Has the consistency of bowel motions changed? Are there other characteristics that need to be considered? What's their current laxative use? And are there environmental issues that you need to take consideration of? This history will identify the risk factors for constipation in this person. The second part of a best practice bowel assessment is the physical examination. Don't underestimate the value of a full examination following these points. Evidence of risk of constipation or actual constipation can be detected through this process. To begin, position the person supine with their legs slightly raised. Take a global look at them. Is their skin dry? Is there an obvious loss of skin turgor? Then examine their mouth. Is it dry? Do they report soreness? Is it obviously inflamed or ulcerated? If they have dentures, are they well-fitting or loose-fitting? This might contribute to poor oral intake. Take a look at their abdominal wall. Is it symmetrical? Does it bulge? Is it bloating? Is there obvious peristaltic waves? The next step is to perform an abdominal auscultation. This must be done before palpation because palpation can stimulate peristalsis. You are listening for bowel sounds. Using a stethoscope, start in the lower right quadrant and move clockwise around the abdomen following the normal movement of peristalsis. The next step is to perform abdominal palpation. Make sure your hands are warm and then gently palpate the abdominal wall starting in the right lower quadrant. Move clockwise to follow the normal path of the bowel, feeling for areas of tenderness. Especially note if there are masses not related to known intra-abdominal disease. Finally, position the person on their left side. Visually examine the anus. Is there excoriation or, or hemorrhoids? Is there evidence of a fissure? This may contribute to a reluctance to defecate. Is there any faecal leakage or incontinence evident? Performing a digital rectal exam may or may not be permitted in your jurisdiction and it's essential that if it is to be performed by a registered nurse, that patient consent is obtained and in some jurisdictions, the permission of a medical officer. When performing the digital rectal exam, you're looking for the presence and consistency of fe faeces in the rectum. Is it hard or is it soft?